everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. So today I want to talk about the latest WordPress update. Yesterday WordPress announced that they are coming out with 5.0 or rather they released 5.0. And 5.0 has been a, a huge talk amongst the WordPress community because this includes their new Gutenberg editor. So the Gutenberg was a WordPress plugin and for several months leading up to this, you know, a lot of people had been installing Gutenberg as a plugin so they could begin testing the editor. Uh, for some people that, uh, you know, were not as aware of it, this kind of took them as a big surprise once they upgraded their WordPress. They noticed they've got this whole new editing experience. So um, first off, if you have not upgraded to WordPress 5.0, I do have a video on our YouTube channel on some things you need to check and do um, before you make the upgrade because it is a, a major upgrade and it's not one that will be pushed out automatically, at least not yet. Um, because there is a lot of plugins and themes and stuff that's still not yet compatible. So in my video I did yesterday and put it on our YouTube channel, um, I discuss how you should go about it and how you should set up a staging environment to actually test your website and make sure everything looks good before actually doing the upgrade. Um, but with that said, I would also encourage you to check out WordPress.org and check out their version 5.0 page. It talks about all the changes um, that you're going to experience in WordPress 5.0, and most notably is their new block editor. So it looks like to me that they've gotten rid of the Gutenberg name. I'm not seeing that anymore on here. They just call it their new block editor. Um, so I think that's what they're um, just calling it, just a new block editor. Uh, but I want to show you how to get back that classic editor. If you hate the block editor, if you don't like it, or if it's causing confusion, I'm going to show you how to get back the same editing experience that you've had for um, many years. It's interesting. I noticed a typo. I wonder if they caught this. Look, WordPress is, is short an S. Interesting. Anyway, so here's a WordPress 5.0 installation. So if you go to make a new post, you'll notice when we go to make this, we have a completely new editor. So this is Gutenberg, and again, they're calling it just the block editor. So it's different in the fact that, you know, everything's kind of in one page here or like one box here. So the title goes here, the title of the post. And then you start typing here. This is a test. And each paragraph goes into its own block. So you can see I hit enter. It goes to a new block. Test two. And if I hit enter again, it goes to a new block. So you can see if I hover over these with my mouse that each paragraph is its own block. Um, and you can see you can add blocks for paragraphs, images, text, or headings, uh, gallery list, quote, cover, audio, file. Um, and there's a bunch of other stuff you can add. You know, inline elements. Um, common blocks, you know, for like a video or something. Um, you can do formatting, uh, layout elements, widgets, and you can also embed from Facebook, YouTube, and what have you. So the thought behind this is to make it simpler for people to create rich posts and rich pages um, without the old editor. So, you know, the old editor had some, it was kind of limited in, in how you could add stuff, but, you know, a lot of people were familiar with it because that was the editor for, you know, nearly two decades. So again, you know, I, I think at first I hated Gutenberg or I hated this block editor. The more I get to use it and uh, play around with it, I actually like it. I, I do think it is going to move WordPress in the right direction in the long run. In the short term though, you know, it's a big, it's a tremendous change. So, you know, if you absolutely hate this and you don't want to play with it and mess with it right now, you know, the holidays are approaching. You just want to have your site back with um, the latest update, um, you can easily revert back to the classic editor. Um, but with that said, let me show you really quick. If you have old posts, um, like this, this is block quote po block quote post, you can see it, it has the classic editor already in it. So all your old existing posts and pages have the um, classic editor. So they didn't translate to the new editor. So, you know, if you're going back to edit anything you've already written um, pre 5.0, it's still the same editing experience. I mean, this is the same for the pages, uh, you know, the, the pages that you've created. Uh, if you look at them, they are using the classic editor still, um, but if you go to make a new post or new page, it's the same as a post with the new block editor. But if you just want the classic editor back, they are going to be supporting it up to 2021, um, which I think is a cool thing. So they do allow you to revert back. But to add that, I'll start from my dashboard here. So you just log in to WP Admin. You get your dashboard like this. We go to Plugins, Add New, and all we do is type in Classic. You can type in classic editor, but just classic works. And you can see classic editor, um, you know, it's already got 700,000 active installations. So a lot of people are doing this. You're not alone on it. Click install now, click activate, and that activates it. So now if I go to make a post, 
I've got the same editor that I'm used to. You can see the separate box for the title, um, the separate body box with uh, visual and text. You know, it's just the same experience you've been used to. And that's the same for your pages. If you go to add a new page, it's back to how it was. Um, post, if you go to edit an old post, let's look at that block. Oh, wait. On, I'll, I'll show you that here in a second. So when you go to edit a post, you now have the block editor or the classic editor. So you can click classic editor back just like you had it before, um, but you can also click block editor and it still has the classic editor in it, but the block editor is still there for the, the headline. So, you know, you kind of have both options there as well. So again, you know, that's a way to go back. And so I think that's a cool thing that they're doing this. They have this, at least have the option to add this plugin. Um, you know, to keep that uh, to keep that in your interface to make the experience a little bit um, less painful on you. And then, you know, they also give you that option. Once you create a new post, you can go and, and mess around with the block editor until you get a little bit more experience. But, you know, hopefully this will make your, your upgrade experience to WordPress 5.0 a little bit better. And, you know, again, yesterday I, I highly recommended setting up that test environment because, you know, with it just coming out, there's a lot of uh, themes, plugins, and all kinds of stuff that's not yet compatible with it. And I, I'm sure the developers are working around the clock to make that happen. So, you know, if you haven't upgraded yet, watch my video, create a test environment, play around with it. You know, you might decide, well, this is something I want to do after the first of the year or even maybe a couple of weeks down the road. But, you know, it is important to do WordPress updates. So, you know, eventually you're going to need to get it done because it's a security risk if you're not running the latest version of WordPress. So, you know, it's set up the test environment, see how it goes. Um, but you can revert back to the classic editor. So don't let that be an excuse not to upgrade. But of course, check with your theme that you're, you know, look at the theme you're using, check the developer, look at your plugins, check the developers, you know, see when their updates are coming out, because I'm sure those are going to come um, very shortly as well. So let us know if we can help you out here at Name Hero. Feel free to comment on this video. Um, you know, feel free to reach out to our support team. If you have any further questions, we'd be happy to help you out. Thanks so much for using NameHero.com.